Today I'm going over to a place called Stony Stratford um, in Milton Keynes. I'll talk to you more about Stony Stratford when I get there. I'm going to be doing a POV. What I wanted to do before I leave the house is just show you the lens that I'm going to take. It's this lens here. It's the Sigma 56 millimeter prime lens. I took this down to London and did a POV down there and absolutely loved it. It is so pin sharp. So I thought I'll just try it again because I really enjoyed it. Now it is a bit punched in, which is good for street photography because you can just stand back a bit from people. Other than that, if you want to take other shots, you know, like look up shots, sometimes you've just got to stand back a bit uh, because it's quite punched in. But it's a Sigma 56 millimeter prime lens, 1.4 aperture. So it's quite good in dark situations. And I, again, I want to go back down to London at some point at night time and get do some night street photography with this. But I thought I'd just share this with you first because this is the kit lens on the M50 Mark II and you can see that it is a bit bigger, it's just a little bit taller. I'll put it on the camera in a second and show you. It's nicely weighted and when you order this, unlike Canon lenses, it comes with a lens hood as well which is really nice it's you can see just the size just fits in my hand I mean it's not that big I mean, hardly any of the lenses that go with the M50 are that big but this is a nice size let's just have a look at it on the camera before we go so we're going to have a look at it on the camera here it is it's got a metal mount which is quite nice it's not too heavy but it's a bit heavier than certainly the kit lens so it fits nicely on let's just line the white dots up lost it here we go there's the white dots clicks into place and there it is it's really nice it's it feels comfortable on there it's not too big not too small it's just about right for carrying around I tend to carry the camera around with one hand it's nice and light and even with the lens hood on it, okay it extends it a little bit but clicks into place and there it is with the lens hood and it really is pin sharp. I mean, it's absolutely brilliant. I absolutely love this lens, so I definitely recommend it to anybody. If you don't want to miss future videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification button. And at the end, if you liked it, perhaps you could give me the thumbs up, it really helps. I've got a few things coming up. Um, I'm, I'm gonna take the 18 to 150 millimeter to Willen Lake, I think, again in Milton Keynes, for some morning photography early morning get some low sun and to see how that performs down there and I've got a trip coming up to London um, two or three days down in London where I'm going to be doing some street photography and some just general photography down there and I've also I've just got to show you this before I go I went up the loft in our house to put some stuff away like you do and sitting there was my old camera and I forgot all about it to be honest. Yes, my Minolta is a film camera. So oh, let's get that out and give it a go. So I've got that waiting and ready. So soon I will be doing a either a vlog or POV, I haven't decided yet, but taking that camera out and I've bought a black and white film. So we're gonna do some black and white photography on film on that camera so I know this channel is very much focused on the M50 but why not let's just do something different for one of the videos don't forget click that subscribe and you won't miss that one as well okay I'll see you over in Stony Stratford hi well today I'm in a place called Stony Stratford um, this is forms part of Milton Keynes but it's actually got a, quite a lot of history Stony Stratford well the word Stratford apparently comes from the word ford or to cross a river and back in roman times uh, when they were building the roman road the london road or watling street they had to cross the river ooze and they tend to lay sort of stones down to help um, get across the river and stony stratford there we go stony and stratford so it is just a ford but it's um 
quite famous. Um, later on, the, there was a couple of inns, and they're still there, where um, coaches used to change their horses, basically, and the passengers used to stay overnight and chat. And these places, one was called the Cock Inn, and one was called the Ball Inn. And the saying, that's a load of cock and ball, apparently comes from that. Cock and ball just means an exaggerated story. So quite a lot of history. Today I'm bringing out, this isn't a history lesson by the way, today uh, this is all about photography. I've got the Canon M50 Mark II with me as usual and I'm using the Sigma 56mm. Now I went down and did a POV in London with this and I absolutely loved it. Everything's just so pin sharp. Um, it's really good. Now it is a bit punched in so you've sort of got to step back quite a bit to get certain shots and the other thing in London of course is people are sort of used to you taking photos. So this isn't the sort of place that I really like being to be honest but I just want to get out and do a, a quick POV with this 56mm again. So I'm just going to crack on now the sun's in and out, it's quite windy, a dull day at the moment, the sun was out when I left and gone in, now I'm here, but uh, anyway, we'll see how we get on and see what sort of shots we can get, hope you enjoy it, and if you do, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already, and clicking that thumbs up, and don't forget the notification bell so you don't miss any uh, further videos that I do. I'll see you in a moment and hope you like the shots. Okay, here we are in the high street and straight away I saw this charity shop and somebody was looking in the window so I thought I've got to get this. It was nice colours of the shop, blues and just thought it would make a nice shot. So there we go. And then the chap started moving along and again I saw this door and I thought I must just get him outside the door. So there he goes and we got the shot. Nice black door with a white frame with sunlight and shadows that's the thing I liked about that particular shot so I now moved along a bit and just in front of me is one of these robots now these robots are in Milton Keynes delivering shopping and food that you order online so I thought I must get a shot of this as a street shot Then I moved along and I saw this shop opposite which is a shoe repair shop and I saw this chap walking past and I thought I must get this one. Again I like the colours and the light and the shadow. I saw this road with lights and I just wanted one person crossing it and there were loads and then suddenly I got this one person which was really good, nice pink coat, shadows and light coming across the road with a bit of a sort of yellowy buildings in the background which was quite nice. Then I turned round and I saw a lady taking a photo with a mobile phone so I, I must get this one and again I liked the lights and the shadow and it was just a good street shot and then I decided to take this muriel that I saw on the wall because it looked really nice and colourful so I took that and then as I was taking it I saw that lady with the mobile phone come along and take a photo but she was taking a photo of the road sign or a little sign underneath it I thought that would make a nice shot nice and colourful and then there's a chap just walking in front of this shop and I wanted that one again going through the shadows with that nice sort of colourful shop in the background. Now moved along a little bit and then somebody was coming out of this shop and I just needed to get that because it was a really nice contrasty shot, darks and a red coat etc. Then I went into this sort of archway and took a photo going back and somebody was just walking in front of this shop and what I liked here was the reflection in the door and the lights and the shadow and 
it was just I felt a nice shot and then further on there's a traditional ironmongers what I wanted was somebody to walk in front of that blue door and there she come with a blue coat and I just got it in time I just loved the colors of this the colored spades and shovels and her blue coat I thought it just made a really nice shot here and then I turned around and there's that chap from earlier having a chat so I thought let's get this photo very relaxed atmosphere in Stony Stratford and then further on we've now got the Bourne Hotel so this is part of the cock and ball story that I told you about earlier so I thought I must just get this so we've got a record of it I liked the colors the the sort of oranges there and there was this pink door and I really wanted somebody to be walking in front of it but nobody came so I just took a picture of the door I liked the frame the colors and the shadows and I just felt it was a really nice photo somebody in front of it would have been good then there was this sort of alleyway archway and I just wanted somebody to walk in front of it through the shadows and here comes a chap now and we got that one and I liked it again because of the light and the shadows and he's got a nice blue coat and trousers that really stood out then we moved along a little bit to uh, see what else we could get and I could see that white door just opposite and I wanted to get somebody walking in front of that and there it was somebody on their mobile phone doing some texting I just like the contrast of the door and the person and all the light hitting it Then I looked across the road and I thought I've never been through this little alleyway and I wondered what was down here and when I got there I found it was like a church tower but without the church it was just the tower so I thought okay we'll just do a look up shot we've got a nice blue sky now and I need to do some research I should have read that sign there but I didn't I just focused on the photography I might go back and read it at some point so then we moved along a bit further and I saw these workmen and I liked the colors their jackets and the greens and the oranges with the blue cloudy sky in the background I just thought it made a nice street shot Okay, we're sort of heading back now and I saw this restaurant here or cafe and I thought this will make a nice shot but before that I saw a barber's shop like a hairdresser's and I thought this would be a really nice black and white shot so I took it with the hope that it would look very contrasty and old-fashioned because it looks like it's been there some time I think it was established 1967 something like that it says on the door and then I got my restaurant shop I just like the light and the shadows and I got a couple of people in there which was really good then a bit further on I saw this female having a cigarette break or having a cigarette and on her mobile phone at the same time so I thought let's just get that one and then a bit further on there's another sort of mural on the wall and I wanted to get this but I wanted people to walk past but nobody was coming left to right or right to left so I decided to wait a bit longer and then I saw this couple walking towards it I thought that's all I can do is get these two and I got them walking towards it which was the best I could do unless I waited another hour <laughs> But then I thought I'll have a go, see if we can find a wait a bit longer and get a car coming past. And here it comes, and I just got this car. So you can see the car with the nice mural in the background on the wall. And now for the final shot of the day. This actual building that I'm taking a shot of was the original tram line 
ticket office and waiting room for the tram line between Wolverton and Stony Stratford. So I thought this would be a nice sort of look up shot, but it just wanted the corner with that colored wall and a couple of signs on it, as I thought that looked nice and colorful for my final shot. I was very happy with these photos. They were very pin sharp. I definitely recommend this lens. If you don't want to miss future videos, please consider subscribing and giving me the thumbs up. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.